Hi everyone, Johnny Roven here, personal injury attorney, Los Angeles, California. Uh, today I'm going to be continuing the conversation on my book, which is Empower the Injured, a how-to guide to handle your own personal injury claim. Um, I'm going to put a link in the description section so you can go, go ahead and purchase it on Amazon. Uh, right now we're still on the topic of the first 100 hours of your accident. What's the best thing to do during the first 100 hours? So in prior videos, uh, I discussed the most important things you can do. Get medical care, call the police so that they can come out, get information, get a report, get witness information. Today, I'm going to be discussing one of the most important things that you can do after an accident is to take photographs and take videos. Just get all that photograph, video footage going. You want to take pictures of the accident. You want to take pictures of all the property damage, your car, their car, how the accident happened. You can go and you can take a picture of the intersection so you could really provide a good visual as to how the accident occurred. So for example, let's say you're going through a green light and someone makes a premature left-hand turn, then you want to take a picture at, of the intersection where the cars are so that people can see uh, later down the line where and how the cars were positioned. It really brings an accident to life. Another thing you want to take pictures of, the people involved. You want to take pictures of the driver, maybe witnesses that are around, the police officer. You want to get as much information as possible. You can also put your video camera on and just start videotaping how the accident occurred. So you can look at the way that your car is positioned, their car is positioned, maybe some skid marks on the ground or some broken glass, you want to get pictures of that as well. That helps to show the severity of the impact. A lot of the time, insurance companies, they love to argue, oh, well, it wasn't that big of an accident, so how did the injury occur? So you want to get really good property damage photos, uh, anything that's involved. Um, you want to take pictures that will indicate the weather at the time, perhaps it's a rainy day, um, perhaps, it, or it's just normal weather. That could be influencing factors as to how the accident occurred. Um, another thing that you want to do is take pictures of their license plate, their, uh, their driver's license, their insurance card, their registration, so that you have all that information. You don't have to just jot it down. You could just have it in your phone and all the information necessary. By the way, when you're checking their information, make sure that it's valid. And if it's not valid, ask for a valid, uh, a valid unexpired uh, insurance card. That's pretty much the most important piece right there of things that you'll be taking uh, photographs of besides the property damage. You wanna see when it's valid until, perhaps as it expired last year. You wanna get some kind of valid insurance so that you can submit it to, you can submit your package to an insurance company later on. So photographs and videos, very, very important after an accident, helps bolster your case, get indications of all the property damage. I hope this was helpful. I'm Johnny Roven, Los Angeles personal injury attorney. Feel free to call me anytime, 800-566-4868. Thanks.